This is no touch freight with many lanes that are drop and hook, so you won't have to wait to load and unload. Make a career as an independent owner operator at UTS. We're not the big guys. We've been a private trucking company in Grimes for 20 years. At UTS, you're more than a truck number. We know all of our drivers and what's important to them. We work with every driver to put a schedule together to help them maintain a normal lifestyle. We'll do that for you too. So come join us and be part of the UTS family. Many of our drivers have been here over 10 years. Call 515-986-3399 to find out about our better way to pay you at UTS. Yoey. KRNT Des Moines, 1021 FM and 1350 ESPN. Des Moines Sports Leader, Des Moines Radio Group Station. Morning, Steve. Morning, Tony. Welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan. We're back in the studio. We survived the Iowa Deer Classic, and it's going to be a great day here on 1350 ESPN. Good morning, everybody following us on Facebook Live. Brought to you by the good folks at Imperial RV Center and over there at Ankeny. Steve and Tony and Dan Anderson and Jim Holloway. Good morning, everybody. show is brought to you in part by Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. You need a place to go put your stuff. Well, please consider my friends over there at Three Rivers Boat and RV Stores. You can check them out. They do a great job, 24-7 access, and uh, you, you just good, good people over there, man. They do a wonderful job with security. They have uh, several different lots for you to choose from. You can pick your spot, and if you pay for uh, 12 months up front, you get a lot, one month free, so it's pretty easy. 12 by 50 Big old spot over there at Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. Give them a holler, and uh, they'll take good care of you like they do me. Morning, uh, Ned. Morning, Jim. Good to see you, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. A little chilly this morning, but we got a big warm-up coming up, so that's not a bad thing. we got a fun show for you. Joe Coy from Fourth Arrow and Winston is going to be on here in a minute. We're going to be talking a little bit about filming your turkey hunts and getting ready for uh, all your fall or summer adventures. It's coming. Trust me, it's coming. So we'll do that. And then uh, I've got a fishing report. I've got some stuff to tell you about uh, from the uh, Outdoor Call Radio. Uh, that If you missed the show last week from the Iowa Deer Classic, you'll want to catch up on. And uh, uh, we got trivia. So we got a lot to do in the next two hours here on the show. So hope everybody gets a chance to listen in. If you want to get anything, just uh, hit us up on the on the phone lines at 244-1350-244. Good morning, Matt. How are you doing? Oh, Matt, that's a, that's that big Chico Outdoor Show in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Larry and I are going to be talking at. Matt's watching us this morning. So if you're out in the Pennsylvania area, go out and see, uh, come out and see Larry and I at the big show on uh, April 9th and 10th. We'll be in Pennsylvania for that. We're looking forward to that. All right, uh, let's head on over to the phones. Our first guest is my buddy Joe from Fourth Arrow, Winsent, and oh, what's that other company? Fourth Arrow, uh, Final, Final Route. Hey, I, I, yep. I'm getting it, man. Let me, let me struggle. Oh. <sighs> All right. Do you what, Joe? Oh, nothing. How are you this morning? I'm good, man. I, I, you know, my Alzheimer's is kicking in. I'll, I'll get it eventually. All right, I'll, I'll not help you next time. Well, I didn't know you. I didn't know he had the phone potted up already. See. Uh, yeah, see, yeah. if I had a good producer, he wouldn't have had you on yet, see, until I said, oh, unbelievable. It, it's, oh, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's, you slam him like that. Huh? I can't believe you slammed him like that. Oh, that's, that's not a slam, that's the truth. <laughs> it's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. <laughs> He's a little sensitive uh, this morning, I'm telling you. Uh, good morning, John, good to see you. So what's going on up there in uh, Michigan? You guys freezing to death up there? Yeah, it's actually it's only supposed to be up get up to like 20 degrees today. So I'm looking forward to turkey season and some warmer weather. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I uh, who else? I I was talking to my buddy Speed from Cookies Barbecue Sauce. He's in Arizona, and he goes, uh, "Yeah, I think it's only supposed to be 70 here today, Dan." <laughs> I said, "Speed, I don't want to hear it, buddy. I I just don't want to hear it." <laughs> It's, exactly. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, it's just crazy. Good morning, John. Good to see or Jeff Kerr. Good morning. Good to see you on Facebook Live this morning. 
So you guys have been busy over there, man. I tell you, you got a lot of stuff cranking out. And hey, I want to thank you. I, I got my uh, my new arm in, and I uh, got a chance to take it out of the box and look at it. Boy, that's a nice arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm really excited about that uh, new stiff arm goes. Uh, we released that arm and our micro triple arm the ATA and response was great. The, the stiff arm goes is really cool i i love the look of it so basically what we did is we took our you know basically regular aluminum arm and we lasered out or water jetted out a bunch of holes in it and um, basically really made it a lot lighter and um, it's basically the same length as our carbon arm um, except we actually were able to get it a little bit lighter which was super cool so we're really excited about that and then we also released our new micro triple arm. Um, that one um, was really cool because we were able to shave over half a pound off the weight on that one. And that one, most guys use it for saddle hunting, for filming their um, saddle hunts. So most guys like that don't need a lot of reach, but being compact and lightweight is super important for them because usually, you know, they're trekking in quite a ways to set up the hunt. So. Yeah, it's it's amazing how um, Mr. Scuba's watching us this morning. Steve, it was good seeing you at the Deer Classic too, buddy. Oh, Steve Scuba over there at Antler King. I think it's Antler King. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You know, um, I, I I've been using Fourth Arrow stuff forever, and uh, Larry and Philip uh, got me hooked in with you guys. Oh, I don't know, six, five, six years ago over at the Iowa Deer Classic, I believe, but. Man, I, oh, yeah. I, Joe, I just love it. I used to use Monfredo stuff, and Monfredo is, is good stuff, but it's not the best for packing around and, and, you know, bouncing all over the country and stuff. And I just, I just love it. You guys make it, you make it precise, you make it compact, and you make it lightweight. So it's not so hard for people to get from point A to point B when you're carrying all that gear. And uh, I just love what you guys are doing. Um, that new, that new ghost arm is absolutely amazing. Um, I, I can't believe how much you've lightened that thing up. Yeah, I know. And really, at the end of the day, the whole goal with all that is you want to make it easy as possible to film because you know, it is it is more work to film. You know, it takes the time and the energy to, to carry more gear out to you with you and set up all that stuff. But, man, it's rewarding. It's a lot of fun. But whatever whatever we can do to make that easier on people, that's always our goal. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, I'm, I'm super excited about that ghost army and that new micro triple. I've actually dabbled in a little bit with saddle hunting <laughs> this last year. So, um, it'll be fun to have an arm that'll, that I can lighten up my pack, like another half pound, all that stuff. So, yep, it's fun. Yeah, boy, it's, it's, it's amazing how many people are really get, going back in a saddle. It's, I always say history stuff repeats itself. Um, it's just kind of <laughs> funny because. I, I was talking to Larry about this the other day. Um, it's, it's, you know, saddle hunting was big about 20 years ago. And mm -hmm. uh, we had companies like the Tree Suit and uh, uh, the Tree Seat and stuff like that. And then uh, it just kind of fizzled out after a while. And now it's back again. And, you know, Larry, you know, Larry pointed out, he goes, yeah, but, you know, things are totally better. Or they, they modified the, you know, you didn't have the standing platforms that you do now. Um, that you can strap onto the tree. You used to have to use uh, just tree steps and stuff like that. And uh, and the, the, the harness rigs and stuff are actually a little bit safer than they used to be 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't remember. I'm kind of young, so I don't, <laughs> I don't remember it being popular the last time. But I hear a lot of guys talk about that between, you know, like the John Eberharts and all those guys promoting mm -hmm. that style of hunting. Yep. Um, and, yeah, it's kind of funny to see it come back around. And it, I usually, you know, I still do a lot of regular ladder stand hunting and tree stand hunting. Um, but it's kind of fun to have that option in the bag to be able to be lightweight if I just want to pick a spot and go out and, you know, set up to hunt. So it, it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, the nice thing about saddle hunting is you don't have to look for the perfect tree all the time. You know, if you got a marginal tree... And then you can get your climbing sticks up in it. Uh, you you can go hunt out of that, and you know a lot of us can relate to that because how many times have you found a good secondary or primary trail, and then there's just not a very good tree for a stand in that area? Right. But you know you, you can get up there and saddle hunt out of it, and uh, without any problems. And you don't have to have a very big tree either. You know, right, it can be a pretty small tree, and you can 
can snake up that thing and get set up in no time. So, yeah. Morning, Ed in Urbandale, fishing, Dave. Good morning, uh, Jeff. Good morning. Jeff says they're gobbling already at the behind his house. Yeah, it's that time of year, man. It's crazy. Well, I, I'm excited about one of the things that you guys came out with uh, because I love turkey hunting. I'll be Larry and I and Philip will be turkey hunting down at uh, in Kansas here in about two weeks. We're going to be at Triple H. Uh, so I'll be in I'll be in my little happy place. But uh, one of the things that you guys came out with was a really nice tripod uh, that's a little bit modified from uh, the one I've been using the last three or four years. Can you tell everybody about the new tripod? Yeah, for sure. So um, I believe it was late last year we came out with what's called our tripod XLT. So basically, it's very similar to our current um, tripod, except it's a little bit more a little more solid, a little more heavy duty for the guys that um, either want something like super rock solid and stable or for the guys that have, you know, a bigger camera set up. So, um, you know, if you're using it with our Rex arm, which is super popular, um, which is basically our 10-inch camera arm that mounts on top of a tripod, gives you all that range of motion, it's really nice to have, especially if you're in, you know, hunt out of a pop-up line for turkeys. You know, it, it, it just makes the whole setup extra solid. So that's been... A lot of fun. We actually sell a lot of those on that side with our um, grip and rip on our shooting rest side. Um, that also mounts right to the top of that same tripod. But, yeah, I, I love that tripod. It's just it's super rock solid. Um, and the cool thing is a lot of those bigger tripods, um, they have they have really long leg sections, so it's mm. hard to pack in. Whereas this one, it collapses down super small still, and it still has the other thing, too, about some of those you know, medium to large, larger tripods is a lot of them have um, basically twist clips on them instead of the speed clip. So for the leg sections, when you want to put those leg sections out, that tripod XLT has those easy speed clips. They're, they're quiet, but yet they're really easy and quick to use, um, which is really nice. Um, the other thing with that one is it still has um, the center post um, in the middle, so you can adjust the height really easily and quickly. You know, if you get in the spot, you're like, oh, I can't quite see him over that, you know, that blind edge or you need to see over that ridge a little bit more. Um, you can just easily change the height without messing with any of the legs, which is really nice. Yeah, that's I like that feature. I, I, I tell you, you know, and if you got if you got one or two guys or kids in the ground blind with you and you need more room, you don't have room for a tripod. Uh, folks, go on Fourth Arrow's uh, website and look at that pillar kit. Uh, for hub for hub blinds and uh, uh, you can just attach that right to the side of the blind and then use that small Rex arm uh, to film left and right and uh, out and I'm telling you what you got a ton you got a ton of room for not only filming your hunt but um, you, you don't take up all that room in your ground blind either yeah hundred percent that's been a super popular kit over the years um, it's just it's easy to set up and again like you said it doesn't take up any leg room. I, I like to take, uh, you know, new hunters and young hunters out turkey hunting. It's just, it's it's a fun hunt. You get to interact with those turkeys via calls. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Get to watch, the, watch them come in, decoy set up, that type of thing. So, you know, oftentimes you'll have a couple, you know, maybe two, three people in your blind. So it's it's nice to be able to, you know, alleviate that, you know, get rid of that, um, all that space that those tripods take up for sure. Well, and it's the under, thing, under too, five pounds yeah, too, Joe. So the other thing, too, um, for those that may be self-filming and kind of running on turkey hunting, that's oftentimes if I'm solo, solo hunting turkeys and self-filming, um, I'll take what our, our monopod, put our, our monopod steak on the bottom, and that setup is phenomenal for running gun turkey hunting. Um, basically, I'm just running around with my bow or my shotgun, depending on which one I'm using, and... I'll stake that monopod right in the ground, and I'm ready to go. So that's even, I mean, sometimes I even use that in the pop-up blind if I want to. Um, it's just a super portable, lightweight, and easy system to use. And just, I can just stake that in the ground anywhere, and I'm ready to go. Well, there's so many people doing YouTube stuff now. And, I mean, you know, this these are all great for anybody from someone doing it professionally or if you're out there, you know, trying to build a YouTube channel or or whatever. These these things work really good. Good morning, Jeremy Lee. Good morning, Jeff. Uh, Jeff's saying happy St. Patrick's Day. Is, today, is it today St. Patrick's Day? 
Man, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I, I, I thought, and I thought that was around the seventeenth or whatever, but. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. this month. Yeah, well, happy St. Patty's Day if it is. I don't know if it is. Yeah, Michael, yeah. good Michael, good morning. Appreciate you. Anthony, the Arkansas Avenger, good morning. Mountain Man, good, good to see you. Out, good to see you out there in Pennsylvania on the line. Appreciate you listening, Ben. So I I, uh, uh, I tell you what, we've got to hit a real quick break, but we do we come back, a lot of folks are going to be heading not only to the turkey woods, but spring bear season's coming back with a vengeance this year. Uh, Canada's open, and a lot of folks are going to be heading up in uh, the Great White North and do some bear hunting. So we're going to talk a little bit about some things that can help you get more bears in, and uh, not only while you're filming. What are you doing? He's over there kicking something. Will you quit? What are you, what are you doing? There's a lot of stuff underneath here. I don't know what. Uh, he's making all this noise, folks, I'm telling you. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is March 17th, Fish and Dave said. Joe, so we're not crazy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Did you hear all that banging, Joe? I did. Yeah, that's, an, that's Andrew. Yeah, we're doing a show, and he's over there banging stuff. You know? Man, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's, it, it's just ridiculous. Hang on, Joe. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. <laughs> Hunting or archery is your passion. Get to archery. That's all right, Jeff. Don't confuse me. I thought I didn't. I thought it was later. Archery Field and Sports has been helping archers and bow hunters for generations. They have the experience to help you with your purchase and help you reach your goals. Archery Field and Sports carries archery gear from Matthews, Hoyt, Bowtech, and Bear, plus all the top extras and accessories you'll ever need. Michael, uh, they should be doing the same thing. It's going to be warming up, but. You know, they're not going to start breeding until them hens are receptive, but it's not the way. It's more of the light. They're photo period activated, so those hens are going to start getting more receptive here any day, so they'll be doing their thing. I've shot Tom strutting in the snow before, so you just never know what they're going to do. Open Tuesday through Sunday with leagues during the week. For more information, go to archeryfield.com or call kicking? 515-265-6500. Are you into hunting, fishing, camping, or tailgating? If you are, we'd like to introduce you to Arctic Ice. Arctic Ice is a brand new way to keep your game, beverages, and camping supplies cold and fresh wherever you're You're involved. welcome, buddy. Arctic Ice Packs are a rugged ice substitute that maintains low temperature longer than a bag of ice. I tell you, the, only, the, the wind the wind's what drives them crazy more than if they can't hear... You know, they they really rely on their hearing for their to make stay away from predators, their eyesight and their hearing. So try the tundra packs that can keep your wild game and fish at dry ice temperatures for the travel back home. For tailgating or camping, try the chilling brew packs. They will keep your beverages of choice at frosty cold temperatures four times longer than what a bag of ice can. If you want your cave, fish, or camping goods to stay fresh and cold as possible without the mess of regular ice, hear those commercials we cut. Arctic ice packs today. You can find models of Arctic ice packs at Sportsman's Warehouse uh -huh. or at www.arctic ice.com. Hey guys, Jackie Bushman here with Buckman. When it comes to food plot C, Man, we're supposed to get some 50-degree weather here in the next couple days. I can't wait. I'm going to go crappie fishing. All that open water. The crappie would be, be getting ready to bite. Game changer, sweet stuff, and buck robber. The best way to put it is, if you're not using Backwoods Attraction products, you better hope your neighbor isn't either. From small to large acreage, Backwoods Attraction has the feed and seed perfect for your hunting property. So do yourself a favor and swing by and support your local farm supply store and ask for Backwoods Attraction to set yourself up for a successful fall. Hi, this is your old friend Speed over at Speed's Golf Cars, located in Wall Lake, Iowa. Just stop on Woke up at 2.30 this morning, it's like, it's too early. No, Michael, you still do what you're calling. I mean, you know, still do your, you know, Yelp and Cluck and Purr and, you know. I, I you know, if it's cold, I, I mean... The, you know, it might slow them down a little bit, but they're going to be out there trying to breed. So I would just keep calling the way you normally do, and just every remember every turkey acts differently. They got a different personality, so just just kind of take that bird's uh, temperature when you call to them. If they're if they're hammering back at you, you know, I I what I usually do if I if I start calling and they start gobbling right back at me. 
all vaccines. I'll call baby one more time and then I shut up for a couple minutes sure and then I'll call again because if you keep calling and calling and calling, he's wanting that hen to go to him, right? That's how nature program. That's how God put it in his head. So if you uh, if you keep calling and calling and calling, you know that's all they can lock up on you. They're, they get a little frustrated. So. But just, uh, I would just, you know, do some excited yelps once in a while, you know, do some, uh, just some real soft, uh, real soft yelps, three or four notes, and maybe some clucks and a purr here and there. You'll be all right. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. Good, mo Good morning, Paula. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio on ESPN Radio uh, right here in Des Moines. We're talking with our buddy Joe Coy from Fourth Arrow and Winsent and uh, Final Rest. If you want to go check out them stuff, go online. they got tons of YouTube stuff, and you can see a lot of what we're doing here. Sean says, I picked up some decaps. I'm nervous to shoot them at Target, but I, at, but I want to practice. And he said, Sean, if you're going to practice with your decaps, what you want to do is shoot them into a big pillow, okay? Get a pillow, and uh, what I do, what I did, um, is I'd put a, I got my regular target, and then I put a big pillow, and I, I taped it to the the target, and I drew a turkey head on it, and that'll stop that that decap from going into your target. Um, I also, what also works good is if you take a big cardboard box, and I I strongly urge you to ask your wife before you do this. I took one of our old comforters, and I threw it in the box and taped it up, and then I drew turkey heads on all sides. And then I just shot at the cardboard box and it stopped that decap with the comforter. But the thing is, it's going to shred that comforter to pieces. So just make sure you're not going to get in trouble <laughs> and ask before you do it. Right, Joe? Always ask. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah. But uh, a pillow, a big pillow works really good. Or uh, you can do a cardboard box stuffed with pillows or a comforter. That Those work really good. And uh, I shoot mine in the basement all the time, so don't be afraid to shoot them. And then, uh, let's see, Fish and Dave said something. Uh, let's see. Uh, I already got all my pure crappie stuff in, Dave. I'm good there. Roger Wild, good morning in New York. Good to see you, buddy. So let's talk a little bit about bear hunting. A lot of folks getting back in the bear woods this spring, Joe. And, you know, I love using my Winsent 2.0 unit when I go bear hunting. Um, uh, it's uh, the, I know you're going to talk about donut shop. And, boy, that's uh, the only thing bad about that is you're so freaking hungry by the time you get out of your stand from smelling them donuts. I know, 100%. Yeah, the first time I actually used Donut Shot on a bear hunt uh, was a couple of years ago. I think it was 2019. We went up to Saskatchewan on a bear hunt, and that was my first time actually going on a bear hunt at all, and it was it was a lot of fun. So I put that uh, wind scent unit out, I want to say like 15, 20 yards in front of me, and... Man, I had, I don't know how many bears I had come in, and I have video of a couple of just putting their noses right on that vapor. And that, you know, we, we've we had so many experiences where they're trying to figure out how to eat the thing, but yeah. they're just like looking at it. Yeah, they lick it. They do everything. Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, it's it's good stuff, man. And, I, and, you know, I would take a scent grenade with you when you go out there, but put a earth, don't put donut shop in your scent grenade. Because what yeah, it, I would if, recommend that. Yeah, because they're going to come right up your tree stand looking for it. So, you know, use the earth scent or pine or whatever, you know, what other other scent you don't want to, if you want to keep the wind, wind direction and stuff. But don't use donut shop in the grenade. But, yeah, I, I even out to the, when I was elk hunting out in Colorado a couple of years ago, I had that elk estrus uh, uh, cartridge that you sent me in that thing. And I had about a 400-pound uh, color phase black bear come in, and he was six yards from us. Uh, we were on the ground. Oh, we, we were on the ground filming, and he came in and he wow. went right to that cow ester scent. Um, I had it zip tied up in the tree, and uh, yeah, that that was a little hairy, man. <laughs> and you didn't have a bear tag, of course. No, it, it's stupid. I mean, it's I, I saw 22 bears on the, in one week in Colorado on that trip oh, wow. they should be giving bear tags out to everybody no kidding apparently yeah when i was i went to montana on an elk hunt this last year we were not too far um west of yellowstone and man the grizzlies were like really bad in there two days in a row on our main trail walking out um each morning 
we saw fresh grizzly tracks, and it's that's pretty um, yeah interesting experience when you see a fresh grizzly track that they're, they're so huge. It's like I'm used to seeing these black bear tracks. These grizzly tracks are like massive. Yeah, like, Ooh, look yeah. out for these boys. <laughs> yeah, that's a little hairy there too, man. Michael says he uh, loves the donut scent. I have the he, he has the scent grenade. I had a buck come in within 20 yards of me last year using it. So that's cool, Michael. Roger's yeah. making maple syrup up in New York right now. Good for you, Rog. Hey, when you come down to Kansas, if I'm there, Roger, bring me some of that, will you? I would love to have some of that fresh maple syrup, man. I love that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. You know, Joe, I... Back I, to that ourselves. Yeah, they're... Uh, they're are, are you doing that now? Oh, yeah, yep. Uh, you're you're cool. making syrup right yeah, now? Yep, yep. Wow, that's awesome. So it, it's amazing to me, um, you know, we get into the turkey woods and, uh, you know, people going up north. It's just uh, it's just nice to see people out there enjoying, you know, living the outdoor life and, and having a good time. And, you know, it looks like everything's getting back to somewhat normal now. So uh, I think uh, I think it's going to be full speed fun ahead, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I think some guys in our group are planning on going up to Canada again, Canada again this year in a bear hunt, which has been a couple of years since we were able to do that. So it's yeah. nice to see things finally opening up, and a lot of guys doing it in you know in some of you know Midwest up here too in our area. And um, man, I would love to get a Michigan bear tag. That'd be pretty cool, maybe someday. But uh, yeah, yeah, we, Minnesota. I usually try to go up to Minnesota up at uh, my buddy Gary's place, but uh, it takes you five year five points to get a tag now. It's ridiculous. Oh wow! You know. that's, that's the way Michigan is in certain areas too. It's, it's pretty uh, challenging to get one, but yeah, some places up in the UP is easier. But yeah, I'm gonna be putting in for the draw again here pretty soon. I tell you, it's that time of year. We got, you know, we're I'll be uh, I'll be in Kansas here in a couple of weeks filming, and then uh, I'll be putting in for my Kansas tag. I'll be putting in for my Bear tag. It uh, the old piggy bank is gonna take a hurt in here pretty quick. <laughs> right for sure. Yeah, it's fun. Well, listen, I always appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I know that uh, the the guys that won the uh, the, the Winsent uh, unit and stuff at the Iowa Deer Classic were super excited. So thanks for getting that out for me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and we absolutely. had we had a ton of people stop by the booth, Larry and I, talking about Winsent and Fourth Arrow. So uh, just keep out cranking out that good stuff, man. People love it. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, you know what we need to do. Uh, you guys need to make a like a little display to send out to your media department uh, partners that just every five seconds or whatever it just sends out a scent like a little plaque. There we go. You know, and you know, have yeah. like have one scent based on the base around it. You know, and then you know put like either uh uh you know just like a little puffer air uh, or something to squeeze that grenade like in the in the uh, in the fixture. And just just right. just have that you know like on a double A battery system or something, boy, wouldn't that be yeah. awesome? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I usually keep a grenade around my neck. I I love squeezing those grenades. It's kind of addicting. I get carried away when I'm in the tree stand with it too. But <laughs> well, it's a stress ball. It is. It yeah, is. I play with mine all the time. In the I'm, direction. <laughs> I'm guilty of that too, man. It's like it's like your own little stress ball, you know. Yeah, exactly. Hey Joe, if they want to see more of uh, what we're talking about, where can they go, please? Yeah, for sure. So if you want to look at some of the camera arm stuff we've talked about today, you can go to fourtherocamarms.com. Um, if you'd like to check out some of the wind scent stuff we talked about, whether it's our wind scent 2.0, which is our main scent vaporizer with that donut shop scent, you can go to windscent.com. Um, we actually have a black bear starter kit on our website. Oh, there you go. That out. Um, so that's a good one to look into if you're going hitting the bear woods this spring. And then um, we kind of briefly mentioned Final Rest. You can check that out at FinalRestShootingSystems.com as well. So I can get you all three. Yeah, if you shoot a uh, crossbow or if you like to muzzleloader hunt or uh, if you go down to a state that's got center fire rifles and, you know, you want something to help steady that up, you really want to go look at that Final Rest system. That does a really good job, right, Joe? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yep, I love it. Yep, good stuff. All right, buddy, thanks for getting up this morning with us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. If you need anything, let me know. Sounds good. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Joe. There he goes. Joe Coy, good, good fella right there. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Good morning, Clue Patch.
Hey guys, Jackie Bushman here with Buckmasters. When it comes to food plot seed and deer feed, the Mississippi-based Backwoods Attractions product line has you covered. From their food plot blends like Trophy Acre, Lazy Acre, Clover Deluxe, and the popular Dixie Six, to their attractants like Game Changer, Sweet Stuff, and Buck Robert. The best way to put it is, if you're not using Backwoods Attraction products, you better hope your neighbor isn't either. From small to large acreage, Backwoods Attraction oh. has the feed and seed perfect for your hunting property. So do yourself a favor and swing by and support your local co-op or farm supply store. Hey, and ask that's that pretty. For successful fall. Right. If you're into the outdoors, There's Ben even signed up. We got a Spurs Up call to give away this morning. We've been telling you about these calls. I want you to look at the quality of that call. Look at that wagon wheel design. Look at the detail in that call. Isn't that neat? And then on the back, it's got the slate. I tell you, these things are awesome. Of a tent. Camp right features several models of ten cots units, including single. I call and talk to him about that, Michael. I mean, I use mine all the time, and it's good. Cooking prep units, chairs, and other fine quality. You see that wagon wheel? Look at that wagon wheel. See the wagon wheel in there? Isn't that cool? Outdoor gear products. Camp right is the right choice to make your adventures comfortable and carefree. Check out all these Camp right products at your local Sportsman's Warehouse store or on the web at CampRite.com. That's CampRite with a K.com. You're ready for your next outdoor adventure. Wouldn't it be nice to have high-definition footage as a fun memory of your time in the outdoors? Well, Tacticam has been helping hunters do that very thing. Whether it's one of our 5.0 or the 5.0 wide camera, you're going to capture your hunts like never before. They can help you cover your bow fishing trips with a new Tacticam fish cam that's totally waterproof and ready to record some awesome bow fishing action. All the Tacticam cameras feature 4K resolution, Wi-Fi compatible, Feature live stream I didn't scuff up the glass. I didn't want to case whoever wins this. These are like 80 bucks, man. These things rock. They're, they're just really well built. Oh, I can't wait. All about the I can't that wait is Sportsman's Warehouse. to get me a bird. Sportsman's Warehouse is here to provide all lines of hunting and fishing gear at the best prices around. In the hunting department, you'll find all your gear for deer, turkey, waterfowl, elk, or whatever you're into hunting. There's new gear you know it, Tony. To outfit you better than before. I can't wait, buddy. A area, That's a killing machine fire right there. Everything from cleaning gear to reloading can be found at Sportsman's Warehouse. Sportsman's Warehouse Fishing Department is simply the best around. You'll find all your favorite tackle from Pluger, Daiwa. Yeah, they can get you a nice bag. Isn't that nice? Zetco, just to name a few. From the serious angler to the regular fishing enthusiast, Sportsman's Warehouse has all you need. From camping to boating to all the best clothes and footwear for the entire family. Well, Andrew's over there working so hard this morning. Sportsman's Warehouse off Interstate 35 on Oral Labor Road in Ankeny. Open seven days a week. Ask about the seminar series going on every month as well. Where's your coffee? Sportsman's Warehouse you bring no coffee? Ankeny. Every spring it happens. Well, can't so wait to hear those first gobs. And the trick to getting that, Tom, is sounding as sweet as the hen roosted out in front of you. Have you ever heard of Spurs Up calls? Spurs Up is a call company located right here in the USA. We can craft your perfect custom call out of cherry, zebra, or walnut wood with an aluminum. Michael, I think everybody should have a box call, no matter if they're a ground in a ground blind hunting or if they're running and gunning. I think a box call is a necessity for everybody because that call carries in the woods farther on a windy day than any other call out there. Uh, myself, I'll use a, I'll use a mouth call once in a while, but I only uh, it, that's only if I'm if they're within a 75, 80 yards. Uh, most of the time, I'm running a friction call, just like the one I just showed you. So, you know, I'm more proficient with a with a uh, a friction call or a pot call than I am at that. So. But, uh, it's really what you what you you know got confidence in. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio on E1350 ESPN. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday morning all across the good U.S. of A. 
So just a, a couple quick things uh, from the Iowa Deer Classic. We had a great classic. I want to thank everybody that stopped by the booth and downloaded the Outdoor Call Radio app. Had a lot of folks did that. We gave away a brand new terrain bow on Wednesday. We gave a brand new uh, Grizzly Cooler away. And let's see what else did we have. We gave away a live action turkey decoy from Wade and Teresa over there to live action decoys in Illinois. And then we gave away a Winsent uh, and Fourth Arrow uh, hunting pack. So we had four great prizes to give away, and we did that on Wednesday. So if you, if you listen to the Wednesday Drive on the app, you know who won. If you didn't, well, I don't know what to tell you. Gonna, you, can hear the, you can hear it today. Are you playing the Wednesday Drive today? Are you replaying it? If you listen to the app today, you'll hear the Wednesday show, the Wednesday Drive. Andrew's replaying it today on the app, so you can go listen to that if you missed it. So, uh, but uh, no, really good classic. Uh, we were re we're really happy to announce one one of the most successful podcasts out there uh, of when it regards to bow hunting is called Working Class Bow Hunter. And uh, if you are if you're probably 30, 35 years or younger, and you you know you uh, uh, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, Kurt and the gang. They do a great job with that podcast and. Uh, I talked to Kurt, and we're going to have them on the platform uh, starting uh, next week sometime. I'll make an announcement on Facebook Live, or uh, we'll talk about it uh, on the app. But uh, I'm, I'm just deciding what day to dedicate to them. So they'll be on, um, you know, like at 9 or 10 o'clock on whatever day they are. We figured out how to do some time scheduling like that. But really happy to have Working Class Bow Hunter on the Outdoor Call Radio app now. So that'll be another way for you to listen to it. We're actually going to do some special contests for the folks that listen to that show. So, pretty cool about there. Other than that, uh, uh, things were cool. Uh, we just got to see, uh, got a got a chance to see uh, the guys over at Forerunner Blinds and talk to them. Uh, got to see uh, Ozonix. I know Larry was talking to the gang in Ozonix at the booth there at the Deer Classic. It was it was a very successful show. Friday was a good crowd. Saturday was packed as usual, and then we had those major storms come in. Um, and, uh, boy, I tell you what, I drove down to Winterset yesterday, uh, Raven and I hopped in the truck and we went down and, uh, we, we hunt close to there and, uh, boy, what a mess. Uh, you could see where the tornado kind of, kind of went through in certain areas and our thoughts and prayers and everything go out to all the, everybody that was affected with that storm. We got a little bit of damage at the house, but nothing like a lot of folks did. So we, you know, we can, we're counting our blessings on that, but, uh, man. Saturday was, uh, it was unreal, I'm telling you. Good morning, Chris, over there in Pennsylvania. Well, we got the Pennsylvania crowd watching us today on Facebook Live. Good to see you, Christy. So, anyway, uh, Deer Classic was good, and uh, check out the Outdoor Call Radio uh, on the app, Monday through Sunday, a different topic. It's, uh, if you like outdoor talk, that's the only outdoor radio station out there that's 24 hours a day, all outdoor talk radio. And uh, we got uh, we got a couple more things popping here in the next couple weeks. We'll tell you about, but uh, things are hopping, man. Uh, we like that. And then uh, we need to we need to uh, award a phrase that pays winner. And uh, I'll draw that later today on, and I'll post it on Facebook. Okay, uh, so we'll have a phrase that pays winner today as well. Well, uh, let's do the uh, let's do the the fishing reports real quick. Uh, this, these are going to be really easy because there's not much of a report. Arrowhead Lake, unsafe ice. Ice is degraded. Blackhawk Lake, most of the lake has opened up. Brushy Creek, ice is degraded. I'm not making that up. That's that's the fishing report. That's what they put. Ice is degraded. See where it says that? Yeah. That's all they say. Uh, Storm Lake, large open water. <laughs> well, it's a lake. That makes sense to me. You know, what would you expect to find at a lake? A lake, open water. Yeah. Uh, Hawthorne Lake, open water conditions. Uh, lake My Mimimi or whatever that is. Op uh, catfish bite is slow. We actually have a fishing report there. Lake uh, Wapala, uh, ISO, I open water conditions. Rathbun, current lake level is 904. Open water conditions. Catfish bite is slow. Red Hawk Lake, state park is closed due to damage from the tornado. Uh, da, 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 da. Big Creek Lake is still mostly ice covered. There are some areas of open water. Bluegill fishing is uh, okay. Catfish is fair. There's your fishing report for today. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sportsman's Warehouse. Wasn't that good? I'm telling you. Talk about detail. Detail, detail. 
So anyway, uh, for everybody that listened to the show on Wednesday on the app, uh, Andrew's son is uh, doing better. You want to tell everybody so I don't have to tell them? Oh, no. Everything's uh, getting better. Still not out of the woods, but thanks for all the thoughts and prayers. Is this, now this is your, is, it, is this your baby? Yep, yeah. The baby baby. Yep. He's What's his name? Bridger. Bridger. This is Bridger, the baby. Yeah. Bridger is uh, getting better. This morning I was able to hold down some food, so that was that was really good. That's progress in the what we like to see. Yeah, we want to make sure Bridger is okay. So that's all right. All right, we're done. Uh, we got an hour and twenty minutes. We're just gonna play jingles. I, I have nothing left. Uh, I tell you what, let's give that Spurs up call away. Uh, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a somewhat hard turkey question. You want to call in if you haven't won anything in the last 30 days, 244-1350, area code 515, 244-1350, and uh, we're going to give away the Spurs Up Turkey call if you can get the answer. So i got to make it a little hard because it's an $80 call. I just can't give it away. You know, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be cricket, would it? Cricket. I don't know where in the heck I just pulled that out of. I don't know. I've been watching too much Hogan's Heroes lately, I guess. I've discovered Hogan's Heroes again on MeTV. Yeah, I'm getting old. I'm watching M- I'm watching MeTV at night. So there you go. I'm old. Yeah. Boy, Raven and I went when we went down. We went shed hunting a little bit. Boy, I tell you what, he is just he just loves terrorizing those cornfields, man. He he's out there just hammering them things, man. He's so happy when he gets out there. Two four four thirteen fifty. If you want to call in for try to win that Spurs Up call, courtesy of Christy and Ben and John over there at Spurs Up, and uh, we're gonna do a turkey question, and we'll try not to make it too hard. But hey, got to make it somewhat hard. All right, got to make it somewhat hard. So that way we, uh, that way you know whoever wins is gonna be proud of that call. You know, so. Oh, let's see. I'm waiting. He's got calls over there. I'm just patiently waiting for him to write the names and and get with me on that. And so, Larry Mack was uh, Larry Mack was helping out all week at the Iowa Deer Classic, and appreciate Larry coming up and taking care of that. Hey, we had uh, um, that e-bike. I told you I bought. I bought a Baku, and uh, I'm going to use that for turkey and deer hunting on the farms. Man, that thing. I haven't charged that thing up. And good morning, Pam. I haven't charged that thing up in over a week. And I, I uh, turned the bike on. Now, I haven't rode it in a couple of days, to be fair. Uh, okay. Uh, to be fair, and uh, it just, uh, it's one of those deals that um, I, I got 80% battery still. 80% battery. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. All right, let's go over to the phones and see what Tony is up to this morning. Good morning, Tony. How are you doing? What are you up to? No, that's a good thing. I appreciate that. So, Tony, uh, Tony, I can't. No, this, this, I'm not going to be able to give you any, uh, any help on this. Okay, so you're going to have to, you're going to have to try and wing it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what turkey doesn't gobble that you would need to? What is the turkey that doesn't gobble that you would need to get your world slam? What what's the name of the turkey that you would need to get for that? Osceola. Not the Osceola. It's not the Osceola, but that's a good guess. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tony. All right. Two four four thirteen fifty. Two four four thirteen fifty. You want to call in and try and win that? We'll, we'll get you uh, get you on there. Two four four thirteen fifty, and uh, it's not the Osceola. So that'll help you a little bit. There's, there's, there's a bunch of. It's. I'll give you a hint. It's not the Rio. It's not the Osceola, and it's not the Eastern. This is this is a bird. It does not gobble like a normal turkey, and it's a. Uh, <laughs> you won't find it in the U.S. to get the world slam. What is the name of that turkey? No googling. Oh, they'll Google this one. Can't. Well, you, well, I can't stop them. You should. Uh, I can't. Yeah. Two four four thirteen fifty two four four thirteen fifty area code five one five if you want to call in. Good morning, Todd. Good to see you. Do what? Use your superpower. Yeah. Good morning, Neil. My superpower. What happened? 
I don't know what happened. I don't know. You seem to have it. Once upon a time. Well, here, I'll just, I'll, I'll think about it, and I'll mentally <laughs> put it out there. There you go. So here, I'm putting it out over the airwaves. There, I just gave everybody the answer uh, using telepathy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get your name? <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, huh? Uh, so, I, I know this is a little, I know I usually give multiple choice, but it's an $80 call. You know, I, I, I'm just trying to, you know, sometimes you got to just work for it, right? You know, let's see what the, oh, wow. I know who this is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, two, four, four, 13, 50. Yeah. You know, I, I just, I, you know, he raises turkey, so I don't think this is fair. Let me see. Go ahead. Good morning, Ken. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. I, I don't think I can let you win this, Ken. Come on. No, you you raise turkeys. That's not that's, uh, that's an unfair advantage. Ken. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't even go turkey hunting. Well, I try, try it once in a while. Yeah. I mean, this. I really want to. I want this to go to somebody that's really going to go out there and chase some turkeys. I got. Huh? You so you're not going to let me win this? I can't, I, 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 you know, if I knew you were going to be out there, Turkey, and see, Ken's a buddy of mine, so I, I can give him a little grief here, but, you know, I tell you what I'll do, I'll give you an extra credit when I give something really nice away that I know you're going to use. How's that? All right. I will, I will, you just remind me that you have an extra credit. Okay. Is that fair? Yep. Okay. Because I really want somebody to smoke a big turkey with this and, and call and send pictures and. And I, I know you're not mad enough, Adam, to do that. So, yeah, yeah. But I, I know you know the answer too. That's a, that's another reason why I'm not going to let you do it. All right, all right, Kenny. Hey, good to hear from you. I haven't heard from you in a while. You doing all right? Yep. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see what's going on. And uh, let me take a real quick break. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. So it's time to refill the tank. Where are you going for a great meal that won't break the bank? Huh? Well, why not fill up at Central Standard Restaurant That's in Milwaukee? Right. There's more than great burgers and handmade ice cream shakes waiting for you at Central Standard Restaurant. They specialize in great food like buttermilk fried chicken, smoked pulled pork, grilled salmon, or an Iowa pork tenderloin, to name just a few. Central Standard That's Restaurant right. features a I'm large... Surprised he's not, I'm sure surprised he's not saying something when he calls in to you. The daily mac and cheese specials will bring a smile well, to any kid from 5 to 50. The shakes are just like mom and dad had back in their day. Cold, tall, and amazing. Central Standard Restaurant features shakes like birthday cake, cookie dough, strawberry cheesecake. Huh? Chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla are always available as well. From large screen TVs and plenty of... What's everybody doing today? Be relaxed and enjoying your time at the Central Standard so much, it'll become one of your go-to places. Carry I tell you, uh, pure, pure crappie, we got some pure crappie stuff coming out. Uh, and uh, I talked to Bo at Bo Jingle Baits. We're going to have some fishing stuff we're going to give out here pretty quick. So for all my fishing buddies, we got you covered. Good morning, Hank. Down there at Revelton. Good to see you, buddy. That's where you'll find over 30 fresh flavors of the most delicious Iowa-grown popcorn in the central Iowa area. You'll love the fresh pop flavors like caramel, caramel apple, kettle corn, jalapeno cheddar, cheddar cheese, birthday cake, or patriotic. Good morning, Ralph, up there in New York. Martino paving right there. I was just talking about you yesterday, Ralphie. Yeah, I can imagine, Jeffy. You better get out there. You better get out there and catch some crappies, man. Them crappies are running right now. Uh, Dave, you've got 30 days before you can win anything, buddy. You're on pro. You're on. You're on. Dogs are part of the family, and we want to protect them at all times. Do you live in an area that you want Fish to and Dave. and not have a traditional fence to protect your pet? I tell you, no that pure crappie stuff, that, that's stop awesome. I can't, I can't wait to give that away. Of the pet stop franchise in the Des Moines area. Is that number, is that second caller the same? Years, a pet stop system will not only keep your pet from leaving your desired area you better outside, get, but get his phone number. set up to keep your pet out of areas yes. in your home. Line the one. System is underground, keeping your property well, that's what I am. It hasn't been 30 days yet, Dave. Have, have you got your prize yet? It's 30 days from when you get your prize. 
That's that's rude. I shouldn't say that. Morning, Tim. How you doing, buddy? Go if you're doing well. He's on giveaway probation. <laughs> uh, Fishing Dave's not on probation. I'm just teasing him. In these times when a lot of us are working from home, it's even more important to make sure your home is the right almost over and comfortable. Now is a great time to call the experts at Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Well, I tell you what, here in about two or three months, we're going to be on the app on Saturday morning, so make sure you download the app. Probably, I'm kind of hoping for July. Um, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. We're going to be a segment sponsor on Respect the Game TV now on the Sportsman Channel and on the Pursuit Channel. So when you're watching the TV show, you'll see the outdoor call. It'll say, this segment brought to you by the outdoor call radio. Go get the app today. How about that? We're going to be we're going to be all over North America on TV. How about that? I'm excited. One call to Wyckoff Heating and Cooling will bring you Peace of mind under your roof every day. You were hunting and a deer tick just crawled onto your leg and is burying its head into your flesh. You can't feel the bite and you may or may not find the Morning, Matt. In the coming weeks, you may or may not notice a red ring around the bite. Shortly thereafter, you may or may not get really sick. Your doctor may or may not test you for Lyme disease. Today? Oh, okay. Not detect it, meaning you may or may not, not on XM, Mike. You got to go to iTunes. What do you What do you have? You have an iPhone or an Android phone? If you're on, if you have an iPhone, go on iTunes and look up the Outdoor Call Radio app. If you're on an Android phone, go to the Google Play Store and look up the Outdoor Call Radio app. And this, that's my app. Download it, and you'll be able to listen to the radio station 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's all free, okay? Every day has got a different... Th I've got three different shows from different folks. My truck. <laughs> got to get the app, Michael. All right, welcome back to the After Call Radio on 1350 ESPN. Hope everyone's doing well. So let's head over to the phones and see if we can give that Spurs Up call away. Let's go see what Jeff is up to this morning. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Dan. How you doing? I'm good, buddy. What are you up to? Oh, not much. Just sitting here freezing in Illinois. Yeah, are you? Yeah, it's cold here. Yeah, well, it's chilly here too, man. It's not, it's not like it's 80 degrees and balmy, that's for sure. Well, they're calling for 60s next week. So. Yeah. Uh, I think we're supposed to get in the 50s starting tomorrow, so I'm happy. Right. Yeah. All right. Do you have an answer for me on my turkey question? Yeah. Is it the oscillated? It is the oscillated. Ding, ding, ding. Congratulations, man. There you go. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. So uh, uh, your, Andrew's going to call you back, and I'm going to need your email and your home address so we can have that shipped out to you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Jeff. Thank you, man. Congratulations. The oscillated turkey. That's one turkey I will not be going after. I promise you. Because no, are we? Are we? Did we get all the breaks on? Oh, we just have our last fifty seconds. Okay, so we're good. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Michael says, uh, "Good morning, Kent. How you doing down there, Huser?" Uh, says Michael. Michael says, "I have the app on the phone, so I will make sure to have a charger." Thank you, Michael. Yeah, because, you know, you know, like I said, Mondays, you know, a lot of folks are already going to know about this. But Mondays we have, um, if you love to shoot a bow, I've got, uh, we got a brand new show on there called Hunting for X's. Nathan Brooks and Darren Christianberry and I do a brand new show every Monday. Um, and uh, it's all about hunting. Uh, it's a little bit of hunting and it's about target shooting and 3D shooting. And how, to, if you got any kind of bow setup questions, we, we talk about that for the full half hour. And then we have the Outdoor Drive, which is our buddy East Coast Trev talking about everything hunting and fishing on the East Coast. And then we have the gang from Spurs Up Calls that does a turkey show, uh, turkey talk. It's all it's a half hour of nothing but turkey talk. Um, it's called Thunder at Daybreak. So that's Mondays. Tuesdays is all fishing talk. We have Aaron Martin from Bass Edge and Jason Mitchell Outdoors uh, talking walleye fishing. So bass and walleye fishing all day. So there's three shows and they loop. So if you miss a show, 
uh, or you, you got to go away for something, you can go back and catch it back up on the loop again. Wednesdays is Waterfowl and Whitetail Wednesdays. So I got George Lynch on there talking about Whitetails and Waterfowl. I've got Michael Lee and Kevin from Backwoods Life, the TV show. They do a, a wonderful podcast show there called Backwoods Life. They're on every Wednesday. And then we have the guys from Keystone Experience, which is all hunting and fishing or hunting and trapping and stuff out on the East Coast. Uh, those guys do a great job in Pennsylvania. And then Andrew and I are live on that app every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Time. You can listen to the show live there. Thursdays is all outdoor cooking stuff. So I've got Hank Shaw, Scotty Laseth, and Jonathan O'Dell, three really well-known outdoor chefs, uh, and they talk hunting and fishing and how to cook it. So it's really a great, great deal on Thursdays. And then Saturday is all outdoors Dan stuff, and then Sunday is a recap of some of the shows all day. So every day has got a different, different show lineup, but it's all free, and uh, you got a chance to win some prizes every week. Like I said, we're going to give away another prize uh, here uh, later today. So uh, I hope you check it out. If you haven't downloaded it yet, it's on iTunes, it's on Google Play, or you can download it on Alexa. It's all free. It's on, It's the Outdoor Call Radio app. Easy. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Dr. Yagi. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Good to see you, buddy. Boy, I tell you what, it's, uh, it's getting close to Andrew. Uh, Andrew's still doing good, man. You did a good job on Andrew's tooth. He's happy. So it's getting close. Can you believe it's already uh it's already seven the hour's already gone? It went quick. We had no fishing report hardly. We you know, Joe did a nice job talking about some of the stuff you can do chasing bears and turkeys and and all that. Uh we gave away a really nice turkey call from Spurs Up. We didn't other than that, we really didn't get much done this hour. Well we gave away I don't know. It just seems like, you know, it, you know, it'd be like, uh, maybe we should have Dr. Yagi on here talking about how to, how to floss in the outdoors. Well, go. what's the proper way to floss in the deer stand? Yeah. What, what from the outdoor elements can you use to floss? The <laughs> you know, I use floss for other things. I use floss to tie my, my peep side in my bowstring. Floss is awesome for that. And then, uh, you know, you can use your floss. If you got lot, if you were in a plane crash, or if you if you got were in a boat wreck or whatever, and you got stranded on an island, if you carry dental floss with you, not only will you have good teeth, but you got you got fishing line right there. Do you ever think about that? I would take a floss container and put some hooks in it, and then that way, and carry it with you. That way, no matter where you go, if you ever get stranded in the outdoors. You got a way to catch fish. I'm telling you, I'm always thinking ahead, Andrew. Yeah. Survival right. tips with outdoors, Dan. There you go. That's your next podcast. <laughs> we'll MacGyver it. Yeah. yeah. So with some Dr. Yagi, Doctor Doctor Yagi's Doctor Yagi's fishing or uh, dental floss fishing line available at a store near you. How about there? You there? You go, Doctor Yagi. Another revenue stream for you. Yeah, may the floss be with you. Here. Yeah, he's over here going, may the floss. He won't put them on mugs and give them away to everybody, but he'll say it on Facebook Live. There you go, Dr. Yagi. That's the first step, bro. Morning, Susan. How are you doing? What are the best food plots for turkey and whitetails? Michael, I'll answer that question when we come back from the break. How's that? Is that a good one? Clue Patch says, hi, Dr. Yagi. Good giveaway idea for an Inkity family dentist. Uh, well, he's always wanting to give stuff away. He's, He's done enough this year. He donated thirty two hundred dollars to the to the Family Cancer Network. Do you know that out there? Doctor Yegi donated thirty two hundred dollars to help kids with cancer this year. Isn't that amazing? Hey, we'll be right back. Keep it here on thirteen fifty ESPN. My name is Takia, and a little thing that I love about the Smoky Hills uh, Barbecue Bacon Sandwich is when I take a bite... That's why he's my favorite dentist. From the bacon he's the dentist with a heart. He's perfection. <laughs> hey, he's going to kill me. And a little Good thing day, I Andrew. About the the dentist with a heart. It kind of melts in your mouth, so you know it's creamy, cheesy, and delicious. Oh, Yegi. I love you, Yegi. Obi-Wan. <laughs> Order dinner delivered on the Chick-fil-A no, app today. Delivery Yegi. fee and other restrictions apply. Real guests paid for their testimonials. 
Hey, are you on the that is cool, for Michael. This year? He's Here's a good a partner, man. Not only is he a good dentist, Dr. Williams, Dr. Brandt, Dr. Stewart, Dr. Yegi, uh, they're just they're doing good things over there. No fishing, Dave. Dr. Yegi doesn't want to give away any fishing stuff. Maybe if you start going to Dr. Yegi uh, the, as a patient, maybe you can talk him into it. That would be a good promotion. For every crown you get at Advanced Family Dentistry, you get a new rod and reel. That'd be a great. That'd be a good promotion, man. For anything you might need to keep your camper going, they're open Monday through You go Saturday, get your teeth clean. You get a crankbait. South Ankeny Boulevard in Ankeny, Iowa. Please call them at five one five nine six four. There you go, Doc. There you go, Scott. Get you some. Get you some shad wraps lined up. You have Stewie go go shopping. For every for every cleaning, you get a brand new crankbait at Advanced Family Dentistry. That's a great promotion. Morning, Richard. <laughs> Cheers, Dr. Yegi. No <laughs> She's going to kill me. What are you doing this morning, Yegi? You going to a basketball game or something? You're up early. You got Yegi's number. splitting tip, two inch cutting diameter, and deadly accurate flight. Bow hunters need gear that they can depend on 100% of the time. You wait all Call him and see if he answers. Shot. Call him on his iPhone. Morning, Tim. How are you this morning, bud? Oh, you're in Kansas. Can you answer the phone, Yegi? Are you at the hotel? What are you doing in Kansas City? He's tra He's always traveling, man. He can never stay. I know what he's doing. I bet you he's going to a concert. I bet you that's what he's doing. Isn't there a big concert in Kansas City? Or is he at a bath? Is it the Big 12 down there? American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. KRNT Des Moines is 1021 FM and 1350 ESPN. Des Moines Sports Leader, a Des Moines radio group station. You're listening uh, to the Thanks, Lori. Lori says she's standing in for Donovan since he's in Argentina. Triple H Outfitters is in the house. Thanks, Lori. All right, welcome back to oh, the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Andrew's over there laughing because he knows what I almost did. So, uh, hour number two is brought to you by the fine folks at Elite Archery. Have you taken the shootability challenge yet? If you have not, I encourage you to do that. I hope uh, I hope you get a chance to go try that new Envision, that new terrain, or that new basin. All three of those are rocking bows. Uh, bow for any budget. Uh, I tell you, uh, we just gave uh, the young lady that won the bow the terrain at the Deer Classic. Her name's Carrie, and she was ecstatic, man. That terrain, I would be happy to hunt with the terrain. That, for a $700 bow, price point bow, that bow is uh, is smoking with features. It's a great bow. Um, go check them out at your nearest elite dealer, and uh, I promise you, if you take the shootability challenge, you are going to be happy with what you're doing. Hey Lou, good morning, buddy. Lou is on a new group on Facebook. I just got it. I got an invite the other day. It was all about outdoor cooking and stuff. And uh, Lou sent me an invite, and I joined the group. And if you go check that out on Facebook, I, I can't remember the whole name of it, Lou. If you want to hit me, uh, shoot me a thing here, and uh, I'll tell everybody what the group name is. But um, I, I would I put a little post on there about the Outdoor Call Radio app, and that we have cooking three great outdoor chefs every week. And, you know, that's the nice thing about the Facebook stuff. You know, you can get on a bunch of groups and you can cross promote each other and, uh, you know, kind of share some stuff. And uh, I can't wait to share some stuff on there. So thanks, Lou, for checking in. Uh, hi, Lori. Miss your cooking. <laughs> Lori, Jeff Klupat says he misses your co cooking. Aren't you, are you mean Connie? Was, Con was Lori cooking, Jeff, out there? He didn't answer. Yeah. yeah. Yegi. He's probably he's probably he's probably having a having a morning cocktail. Oh, why not? Yeah, a little either little either Bloody Mary. Cocktail or yeah. He's either at a basketball game or he's getting ready for a concert. If I know Doctor Yankee. 
Well, I don't know. They had a big thing at Arrowhead Stadium, is it, or is that this summer? I saw something. George Strait's going to be at Arrowhead. Yeah, I don't think George Strait would be there right now. Too cold? cold? Really? Well, it's country, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, Lori Klupat said he's sorry. You he meant Connie. You know, I'm sure Con I'm sure Lori is a great cook. You know, you know, she is. Lori posted a picture of the grandson uh, potty training, and it it, it looked and uh, he was reading a book while he's he's doing his thing, and I said just like his grandpa. <laughs> And, oh, uh, Donovan saw that. He's in Argentina. He saw that. He started laughing. Uh, I Okay, Lori said she was helping Connie. There you go. Now I got the whole story. I got the whole story. So, All right, go take that elite challenge, man. You'll be glad you did. So um, I got, yeah, I got, uh, I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. 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 Turkeys. Turkeys are getting. Uh, I I had Jim Coffee on, who is the Iowa State turkey calling uh, turkey calling, Iowa State turkey biologist for the state of Iowa on Wednesday's show, and Jim said turkey populations are looking good. They were actually out there rocket netting turkeys uh, while he was doing the show on Wednesday. Uh, they're doing a big study to see about uh, poult survival or poult mortality. Um, so I'm I'm going to be very interested to see the results of that study. That they're doing. It's not only Iowa doing that. Missouri, Illinois, Nebraska, Kansas. They're doing like a big multi-state stu uh, turkey study. So that's going to be pretty fascinating to see how we can see what's going on. Good morning, John Thompson. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. So, hey, Rocco. Uh, Steve Rocco says, hey, bro, wondering what time you're coming uh, to shovel my driveway. Well, since it's like a 13-hour drive from my house to yours to Pennsylvania, Steve, don't don't be hold, waiting for me too long. Don't be by the door waiting. No, especially with the price of gas. Yeah. Oh, speaking of gas prices, you know, I talked to Speed. I was talking to Speed. We're gonna do a big deal on Respect the Game TV this 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 summer, uh, late summer or fall. We're going to do the Make Your Own Gas with Cookies Deer Chili contest. Make Your Own Gas with Cookies Deer Chili contest. How, how about that? Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna get some really special cookies uh, cookies packages put together with some uh, to make deer chili with. And then we're going to have people send in their, their best turkey. <laughs> turkey, I got turkey on the brain. Their best deer chili recipes. And uh, with a picture of them using a cookies product. And if you do that, you got a chance of winning some uh, Respect the Game swag and uh, some cookie stuff. But make your own gas with cookies, deer chili contest. That's, that's insane. Yeah, it is insane. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what, man. This gas stuff is getting ridiculous. It really is. Be sure to be with us next time for further adventures of Rocky the Flying Squirrel. <laughs> Indicating you should probably fly. <laughs> what the? What was that? Where did you pull that out of? That, that was archivable. He's 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 getting he's he's losing it, folks. I just thought you know, he's losing it. He's pulling out Rocky and Bullwork Bullwinkle waves now. I cut the gas just fly. I tell you what, if I wasn't doing the show for a living, I there would be so many things I would want to be talking about right now. I just, I can't do, I promised I wasn't going to talk politics, and I haven't talked politics in th almost three years now. I, I, I quit talking about it. And, but, you know, I, there's just one, there's this one thing I would like to say. Everybody knows what's going on. But I just, I'm biting my tongue, and it's killing me. It is absolutely killing me, because I want to say it so bad. But it keeps me up at night, actually. <laughs> I, I'm going to say this. I, can I just say this? I, I almost put this on Facebook the other day. You know how you know how the, the liberal Democrats are always wanting to redistribute everything? They want to share what you work hard for? Well, I, I almost wanted to put on Facebook, since since they have that philosophy and gas is so, it's a cost of fortune right now, I was going to say every time you see somebody with a Biden sticker on their car or truck, 
just go re go siphon their gas because that you know they want to redistribute the wealth. They want to share the wealth. Let them share the gas. I wanted to put that on Facebook so bad. Oh. How do you keep Dan focused during turkey time? You can't, Jeff. I'm, I'm, I've lost it already. That's, that's insane. Don't be siphoning people's gas. I've just, it just aggravates me. It just, it just eludes. <laughs> Lou says, "Let's go, Brandon." <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't. We're we're done. I'm. The, I, it's more than I wanted to say. See, I shouldn't have opened the can of worms. See, it just, it just irritates me, man. We should not be paying that for gas right now. It's stupid. Good morning, Gary Peck. Only 20 below this morning in Deer River, Minnesota. 20 below. Oh. Gary, I am so glad it's you and not me, man. I, I just cannot even understand that. <laughs> Jeff Duggar saying, say it, say it. I said it. Now I'm going to, now see, I'm going to get in trouble, see, because I'm going to have somebody say, you shouldn't say that, Dan. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, but I, I mean, I filled up yesterday and was, I, and even Raven almost passed out when he saw how much it was. It was ridiculous. Oh, I'm telling you, man, it's not fair. Yeah. And then, never mind. See, I, I, I'm just telling you. We're, hey, Andrew, let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Let, let me ask you a quick question. Right, so everybody, everybody wants everybody to all these. They all these. They want everybody to buy electric cars. Where does the electricity come from? It certainly doesn't come from anything good. No, they're getting the majority of the electricity from coal exactly. and petroleum. You want the oil electric? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get rid of the oil and the gas, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you just it, it. These these people out there saying, well, all you need to do is get an electric car. Well, you still have to rely on gas, petroleum, and coal to get the electricity. The solar doesn't do enough to do it. And wind, the wind stuff isn't going to do it. So all you out, all you experts out there, get a clue, man. Just buy an electric car. Yeah. <laughs> Rick says, there you go, Rick. <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. I, I just... I, Oh, it just drives me nuts. It really does, man. It drives me nuts. So, all right, I got a. Uh, Michael was wanting to know about uh, food plots, and I apologize, Michael. I got I got on a tangent. Yep. So I would go. Uh, there's a wonderful company out there called Backwoods Attraction, and I would look at doing either uh, like a like a trophy acre, which is a wonderful mix, a blend. Uh, you can go and get. Uh, uh, Shady Patch, which is a wonderful blend for out there. Turkeys and deer and all that will benefit from it. And oh, where you at, Michael? Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Michael, 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 you could pull the... <laughs> yeah. There you go, Jeff. Absolutely. Uh, there's uh, the, pro, uh, the pro blends. I can't go on right now. And, uh, and tell you, but there's like seven or really good seven blends out there that, oh, there you go, Michael. Go to backwoodsattraction.com and check that out, and you will see some wonderful, I'm going to go and, uh, how do you get, how did you get, how did you get your turkey call? How did you get there? What does that mean? Well, Tony, you go on spursup.call, spursupcalls.com. There you go. If you want to get a turkey, <laughs> spursupcalls.com, Tony. Do not go to spursup.call. That is not an actual site. <laughs> Did I say, I, say, I, say, I corrected myself. I'm trying to download Backwoods Attraction. I'm trying to do like, I'm, I can only do, I can only do one thing at a time, people. Come on. It's like you can only do half a thing at a time. Uh, they love, uh, Mountain Man says they love Shady Patch. Now, why is my, why is my website not going? Backwoods attraction. Come on, because it knows you should be going <laughs> and talking on your show right now. Yeah, just just go on backwoodsattraction.com, Michael, and uh, any one of those seed blends would be good for a food plot. I we use that all the time on Respect the Game TV, buddy. Okay, so there you go. All right, uh, Tony. So we answered Tony's question, right? Yeah. yeah. Spursupcalls.com. 
Yeah. All right. Spurs back up. Oh. Hey, at least baseball's back. Baseball's back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing the big Cubs thing on July 19th. Don't forget about that. It's the outdoors day at the iCubs. That's going to be a lot of fun. So, and then we got, hey, we got our, you're welcome, Michael. And then we got our big dinner that we're going to be doing for uh, the Outdoor Call Radio on May 9th. Is it May 19th, I said? May 19th? That's a Wednesday. Whatever Wednesday is close to the 19th, if it's not the 19th. I'll, as we get closer, we'll tell you. But you, uh, first, first hundred people come out. You're going to be able to have some uh, some food on us and celebrate the uh, the uh, start of the outdoor call radio. Come on, Andrew, put a leash on this guy and get him back on track. I'm back on track, man. What are you talking about? It's it's. I'm putting a shot collar and everything. I'm getting ready for it. I didn't go anywhere. You want to do the mail segment? We got mail. All right, here we go. I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. You got mail. All right, this mail segment is brought to you by the fine folks at Darren Islander, American Family Insurance Agency in Ankeny. This week's mail is right there, right there. Sam Gilder, Gilderschmidt. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Gilderschmidt, what a name. Have you ever heard that name before? Gilderschmidt? John Jacob Jingle, what is it, Jingleheimer Schmidt? <laughs> I wonder if it's a relation. Uh, this week's mail is from Sam Gilder Schmidt of Greencastle, Missouri. I don't even know if I've ever heard of Greencastle. Uh, Dan, what is the best approach to early season on decoys? Thank you. Love your show on Facebook. Sam, I appreciate that. I wonder if he's, I wonder if he's ghosted me on that name. I don't know. I, he, I got the email. Good morning, Brian. Have you checked out the ball eagles on the ice under the one mile bridge? Yeah, Brian, they're everywhere, man. And they're they're telling you they're fishing. They're they're having fun. Uh, what is the best approach to early season on decoys? Now, Sam, I can tell you what works for me. And uh, what I usually do is I start out uh, with a feeding hen, a an alert hen, so two hen decoys, and then I'll use a strutting Jake decoy, DSC, uh, DS Dave Smith decoy, strutting Jake with a real tail fan, or I'll use a regular uh, Tom Strutter uh, decoy. Uh, those usually, usually work really well for me. Now, if it's super windy, uh, you know, using a real tail fan on a, on a gobbler or a Jake Strutter can be kind of difficult to use. So I'll use a like a, a three-quarter uh, Jake, a three-quarter aggressive Jake from DSD. But that's that's my little love triangle I set up. I always set I put the Jake at the apex of the triangle, the farthest out, and I put those out about 10, 12 yards, and then I'll take the hens and I'll put them about three or four yards in front of the blind and stagger them, you know, like they're feeding. And that 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 setup has worked really really well for me over the years. Um, I've taken a lot of birds with that setup. So, and hey, if you get a bird that comes in and he boogers on you, if uh, he catches you move or something. You know, uh, wait for that bird to get out of sight and then sneak out there, pull a decoy. You know, just go with one hen um, and then start, wait about a half hour and start calling again. And then that way, if that same Tom comes back around, he's going to see a different setup and he's going to think it's he's going to think it's a different hen and a, and a Jake. And chances are you might have a shot at getting that bird in. So uh, don't be don't be afraid about changing your setup and stuff like that. So. Uh, Jeff, my buddy Jeff, he puts out like six, six or seven decoys. Um, there's really no right or wrong answer when it comes to decoy spreads. Um, just do what, you know, I've shot, I've shot a lot of times with just using a single hen. Um, you know, as we get later into the season in Iowa, we have four seasons. As we get into third and late third and fourth season, uh, a lot of times I'll just put a, uh, a Jake out or I'll put a single hen <laughs> And uh, that's worked really well for me. So, you know, don't be afraid to change it up. Everything works a little different. And every bird's got a different personality to it. So 
you, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, making a mistake and stuff like that. So there you go. All right. It is uh, 818 and some change here on 1350 ESPN. We, man, we were up there for like 25, 26 viewers there for a little bit, man. We, we were cranking. Then I started talking about the gas and stuff, and then we we see I, you lose people when you do that. People don't want to hear it. Even that's why I, I haven't said anything for three years. Uh, I just I had to get it out. I you know forgive me for the little outburst. Now I'm good for another three years. So there you go. All right, we'll be back on 1350 ESPN. Keep it on. No flippy floppy. Keep it here. Are you getting ready for hunting season? Well, you've done your homework. Oh, and now the time man. is getting close. One thing after you harvested that deer or wild game, where are you going to take it? I need a nap. I have an answer. The Milo Locker in Milo, Iowa. The Milo Locker has been processing wild game and general locker animals for over 15 years. Daryl and Angie are the owners, and they take great pride in the fact that they do everyone's order the way the customer wants it. You can have What's everybody team doing team today? Basketball? Are you going shed hunting? You going fishing? What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. If you like tasty snacks, Daryl does a great job making snack sticks, summer sausage, and jerky with all sorts of cheese and spice combinations. They do a ton of deer each year at the Miami Andrew's Locker, over there sleeping. And they do each order like it was their own. So if you get lucky this year and you do good locker, try the Milo Locker. Check them out today or just give them a call at 641-942-6231. And you're on your way to some great eating. Taping your own hunts is an exciting way to capture the moment. Give away some Deer Classic tickets you think anybody call. Four arms can help your video easier in the field. They're extremely lightweight. No, that's enough, Jeffy. Uh, people don't listen to this show for politics. They, they listen to Joe Ro Reagan, Rogan, and all them guys. Chris is working at the shop. Are available, Cross Creek Archery. Is it Cross Creek? They're made of high quality aluminum or There you go, Clue Patch. What you choose. For crowd blind hunters, there's the tripod and monopod option. Oh, Cross Creek Archery in Pennsylvania. Come out and shoot. We'll shoot. We'll have you shooting at the wrong target. It's actually Creek Archery. I'm, I'm teasing him on the Cross Creek. You're looking to tape your hunts this season. Check out fourtharrowcamerarms.com. Outdoors Dan approved for the field for great video action. Let's talk about a story. An mm. Iowa story about a dream Thank you, Chris. years to come true in Osceola, Iowa. I need more coffee. It's the story of Revelton Distilling Company. These fine distilled whiskeys, gins, and vodkas were born from the labor of Rob and Christina Taylor. It's amazing hearing the just, customers. Just get them on the line. Quit having a diatribe. And how each spirit tastes and satisfies <laughs> over there talking every like sip, five from minutes the honey again. whiskey to the whiskey and cream, oh, yeah, or the robust yeah, exactly. mulberry gin, American yeah, exactly. gin, or vodka. Revelton Man, I tell you what, we're getting that 50 degree weather tomorrow on Monday. If it starts popping, I'm getting, I'm getting to the water. I'm going to go throw some uh, pure crappie baits and catch me some fish, man. That sounds good right now. Some fresh fried crappie. Right off I 35. Revelton Distillery Fine Spirits are also available at your local grocery and other retailers around Iowa. Please check them out online at reveltondistillery.com or visit them at the distillery. I do like the Baku bike. It's awesome, Chris. It's time to sit yeah. back and unwind. Well, then it's time for a Revelton well, no, I, I got I got everything ready to haul my, my decoys and my blind, and I'm ready to rock and roll. If you are, there's a group that I would like to introduce you to, and that's Hunting Works for Iowa. Hunting Works for Iowa is a statewide organization that is focused on not only what hunting is, but what it does for the state of Iowa. Did you know hunting in Iowa? Ugh, I don't know about a great show, Jeff. Pretty lame today, I think. Larry McCoy's not watching. You know, Larry's not involved. It's not good, you know. You gotta don't have that McCoy magic to pop the show. Anti-hunting groups are working hard every year to limit your ability to hunt here. So hunting works for Iowa. Is I can't wait, man. A couple more weeks. Old turkeys. It's going to be awesome. If you want to learn more about Them old turkeys coming in. Iowa, get that old decap going. A partner, please go check turkey. out the website at huntingworksforiowa.com. I'm telling you, man. After my deer season, man, I pity the turkey that comes in because it's it's not going to be pretty. I pity that poor turkey. That old decap. 
It's on. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday morning all across the good old U.S. of A. We appreciate you tuning in every Saturday, 7 to 9. We got, uh, I believe, Mr. Smelter on the line. Let's go say hi to, to Smoking Joe. Good morning, Joey. How's it going today? You know, it's going good. I'm, I'm going to go talk to the fine folks at Revelton. They've got some sh- moonshine that they're putting out now, and I'm wondering if my truck will run on that because it would be cheaper to, for me <laughs> to put moonshine in the, in the gas tank than to go to the gas tank. Hey, it never hurts to try. I mean, just make sure you have a backup plan. Hey, great, re- great new revenue stream idea. Let's all start cooking moonshine in the backyard. <laughs> Get your own still. Uh, moonshine still kits, 1995, and uh, start making our own ga- our own fuel, man. Yep, two dollars a gallon. I'm telling you, it'd be less than. I bet you'd be less than that. Could yeah. be. Can you run, can, can you run can you run a Chevy truck on moonshine? Like I said, let's try it. I'm telling I'll you, I'll try anything at this point. You know, and then when you get depressed, you can just take a you know just take a little uh, a little shot of your own. Yeah, a little shot of your own. I know we can run off of it, but. Vehicles, I don't know. <laughs> Jeff Klupatch says he's going to Revelton tonight. So, did my truck get ordered finally, or no? No. No. <laughs> it was a rough week on the uh, allocation side of things. We only got 18 vehicles given to us this week. You know, you're running out of time, buddy. You're going to lose. You're going to lose outdoors Dan money here pretty soon. <laughs> I have faith, and I'm very optimistic that you know next week will will be the week. I yeah. just have a good feeling. Yeah, Chris in, Chris in Pennsylvania says Chevys don't run at all. This is coming from a Toyota driver. A Toyota? <laughs> a, t- a Toyota driver. Yeah, he's been all over the board here, Joe. He's yeah. just... That's not me. It's what he wrote. He wrote over here. He's got one of them little crying emojis on here. I'll tell you what. My, my trail boss runs just fine. I was zooming through the cornfields with the dog yesterday, and I never had a problem. Well, that's good. Yeah. There for. Oh, he but loves this new one's gonna run faster. Yeah, he loves that truck, man. I tell you, he, you know, I open that door, zoom, he gets out of that door, he starts doing zigzags on the corn. He's trying to find, <laughs> he's trying to find sheds, you know. And then I'll say, Rep, I'll say, Rep, uh, I'll say, uh, Raven, Raven, Raven. Kennel, yeah. Raven. Dog's name is not Rebel Tim. Yeah, I, well, yeah, well, there you go, Dan. I should call it. You know what? Rebel. If I start, if I re, yeah, if I rename the dog Rebelton, I bet you. I bet you Rob would give me, I bet you I could get a, a personality fee out of that for the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Re- Raven, your name is now Revel, Revelton. Rev. 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 There we go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this dog This dog call brought to you by the fine folks at Revelton the Story in Osceola. Moonshine at its best. Yeah, moonshine you. Not just for humans. I'm telling you, we should start. We should start a. Uh, we should start a, uh, a a drive to to have everybody go online for U- Moonshine University and learn how to learn how to still in your backyard so we can make our own fuel. I like it. Yeah, I'm telling there you. you. Go. Yeah, I'll get to work on it today. Yeah, you do that, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so since I don't have a truck ordered, I really have nothing to say to you, Mister. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's only been five months, Joe. <laughs> and he asks I know, you every I know. Saturday, too. He'll ask you forever now. I know. Mm-hmm. He would even have his truck, and he'd still ask him where his new truck's at. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know why he's doing this is because there's zero percent financing and all these rebates right now. See, this is why oh, he's yeah. this is oh, why he's, he's doing it to me. Conspiracy theory, Joe. It is. That's right. He's, he's Dan is in his own conspiracy theories by himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been drinking too much moonshine this morning. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I probably need a little moonshine in my coffee this morning. I tell you, morning, John. <laughs> Thunder at daybreak, Andrew show did. host. What'd you say, Smelter? I said it'd help on Andrew if he did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Andrew's beyond help. Uh, so, uh, it, uh, what do you uh, <laughs> what do you have to do at uh, what do you got what do you got going on at Carl Chevrolet? There, smoking Joe. Well, I got. I have like. 30 trucks on my lot. Yeah. 30? 30. Yeah, that's like the most I've had in like 
probably six months. Uh huh. So and uh, so I have some inventory, which is nice, and I hopefully have more coming in soon. So it's it's getting a little bit better. Not I, I not a whole lot, but it's getting a little bit better. So but we'll get through it. So All right. springs around the corner. You know. You don't. You're not going to mention the rebates right now. There's really good rebates. There's a couple of rebates. Yeah. It's not like the old rebates. I saw 750 off for pre or, or Chevy owners and uh, yeah, 0%. Owners, yep. On certain models, you get $750. Yeah. And as you mentioned before, your favorite offer, which is 0%, that's out there on certain models, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not buying a truck, it's always there. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always I make the phone call when you're not buying a truck. And sure. the only reason I'm ordering another truck, just so everyone knows... You know, I, 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 you know, I had a guy the other day goes, it must be nice to have all the money you have. I don't have a lot of money. I make, I do okay, but I am not, I am not rich by any means. I'm rich in friends. I'm rich in family, but I'm not rich in the, in the pocketbook. I can tell you that. The only reason I'm buying a new truck right now is I'm going to get a white one so I can get it wrapped with the outdoor call radio stuff on there. And then Joe, yeah. Joe's already seen the design. It looks awesome. It does. It's really, really Yeah, I, and I just figured if I'm going to spend that kind of money to wrap the truck, I might as well just go ahead and get a new one. That way, you know, I'm not having to trade it off in a year or two. And I just need to get you a truck then, I think. Yeah, well, there you go. That's the only reason. <laughs> Otherwise, I would keep... More of Dan's story. I, Joe needs to hurry up and get him a truck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It will get here. Yeah. I know. Well, I have faith. Yeah, that's all right. All right, well, tell everybody where they can find you. 1101 Southeast or Labor at the Rock, and I'll be here all day today. All right, Joe. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Have a good one. Hey, did you, uh, and you still got Deer Classic tickets to give away, right? Yeah, I got 10 of them. You do not. For next year. Yeah, no, they're not for next year, but if you want if you want a Deer Classic ticket for, for memory's sake, Joe's got them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, thanks, Joe. See you guys. There you go. Smoking Joe Smelter. Wow, you know, we already did mail. We're ahead of schedule now. What do we do? Uh, I don't know. You know. What do you do? I, just... I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I already gave the turkey call away. Yeah. Can't give that away. So I think next week, what are we doing for trivia next week? I think next week, I think we bada should, bing, bada boom. We should try fishing, I think. See if I get my fishing stuff in next week. Do that. Yeah, that's all right. We'll have to see. This is what we're doing with our wraps. Uh, is white with our wraps is white trucks. There you go, Michael. I, you know, I'm just telling you, man. I, I love my truck, my Red Arrow, but uh, I just that that wrap on that white just pops. It really looks nice. So we'll see how it's going. I don't know. This Chico Outdoor Show is getting close. I'm. Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Going to go all the way to Pennsylvania to talk turkeys. Larry's talking whitetails, and I'm talking turkeys. Turkey. Yeah. Hey, did I tell everybody on the radio about the about the deal on Respect the Game? I think I just told the Facebook crowd. Uh, starting here pretty soon, if you watch Respect the Game TV on the Sportsman channel, um, we're going to be on three other networks as well here pretty quick. So we're excited about that. But uh, Larry and I worked out a deal uh, when he was up here, and the Outdoor Call Radio is going to be a segment sponsor for the next two years on Respect the Game TV. How about that? So when you're watching the TV show and it says, this segment brought to you by, this segment of Respect the Game TV brought to you by the Outdoor Call Radio app. Have you got the app? Then you'll know that's, that's us. That's my little American-made company right there on national TV. How about that, huh? 10 million folks is going to be seeing about the Outdoor Call Radio app. I'm so happy. So, good. yeah, I can't wait. So, hopefully by July we'll be on there full time on Saturdays. And uh, so you'll have Wednesday live, and then you'll have two shows a week on Saturday, 7 to 9. We'll keep the times the same. It'll be Saturday, 7 to 9. But get the app if you haven't got it already. So, just. I'm your boy, Blue. That's right. 8.32 and some change. Let me get a real quick break. We'll be right back on 13.50 ESPN. They're one of America's favorite fish. Thank you, John. Whether you call them old paper mouth or a slab, folks love to chase after the tasty crappie. And the folks at purecrappie.com. Pure crappie. Limit out your next cast Oop. There's a tug. There's a tug. Oh. Slabber. 
That's me this that's me tomorrow or Monday when the weather's hot. Slabber. Man, I can't wait. I love crappie. I love walleye is my favorite. But crappie's right there, man. You don't have to travel as far for wall or for crappie as you do walleye. Can't wait to see Gary up in Minnesota go up there in June. We get through turkey season and then we'll head up to Minnesota and best bait for crappie, pure whitetail jigs, Michael. Go check them out. Pure Pure, pure white tail jig. I just said that, didn't I? God, I have got a, a sleep deprivation, man. Pure crappie jigs. Pure crappie. Go to purecrappie.com, Michael. The monkey milk and uh, the chartreuse and uh, vanilla two inch minnows, man. That's what I'm, I'm. That's what I'm doing. If Smelter can't get you a truck, I have a beautiful high country of a site. No, Jeff, I'm not. Man. I'm getting that new ZR. I'm getting that new ZR. I do need some coffee, Michael. Uh, I'm getting that new Z Z2, Jeff. That new 1500 Z2. It's got a. It's got more of a. It's more of an off-road truck. Um, it looks pretty cool, man. That's. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get that one. I think. That'd be. This will probably be my last new truck. I'm getting too old, and they're getting too expensive. So. I'll probably drive this one till it rusts off, until it rusts is out. Like like uh, like Chris's up, uh, like Chris's Toyota. Your little Toyota. You still on here, Chris? He's probably not even on here. Want to be more successful in the field? Go to purewhitetail.com or look them up on Facebook. If you love to, are we all caught up? We got everything done, right? Every spring. Have you ever heard of Spurs Up Calls? Spurs Up is a call company located right here in the USA. We can craft your perfect custom call out of cherry, here, call this number. Walnut wood, with an aluminum, slate, glass, or crystal surface. Ooh, Our single wagon. Yeah, just call. See if he answers. Uh, I just want to get the half ton, Michael. I, I got, I mean, that's all I need, man. I, and they don't make that in a three-quarter ton, I don't think, that new Z2. It comes to the sound you need. Our larger single and double wagon wheels have a deeper sound. Well, many wagon calls have a high. Fox calls are more your style. Oh, Chris. Fox calls is the one in your arsenal. I can't believe you're del you're that delusional. A business that knows that little things make a big difference. Check out our calls. Spurs up calls. I'm not going to read what he wrote, folks. I'm just... <laughs> That's pretty funny. Archery products, the makers of the video camera support system, the Probo Cam, and the AT5 <sighs> trail camera have done it again. Introducing the new Pine Ridge Archery line of 250 Ooh. archery accessories that you will yeah, want to get. Call him now. Get him on. This new line Hold on, we got stabilizers, peep sights, kisser seconds. buttons, and the new wrist sling. Denise says laughing out loud. I wonder totally what she's laughing about. It's available in different colors, and this will allow you to tune it to your specific grip. So your hand goes right in the center. There you go, David. They've been gobbling, man. The toms are ready. These new nitro products will have you the toms are definitely ready. We just got to get the hens going. Included in these products are tons of colors so you can customize your bow for your favorite college teams like never before. Did I mention all of these products are made in the USA at Pine Ridge Archery's factory in Illinois? That's right. Made in the USA of quality materials that will hold up in any weather conditions for diehard bow hunters like you and me. Check out all these great new products at Sportsman's Warehouse or anytime at PineRidgeArchery.com. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. So uh, I, I tell you, we got a special guest lined up right now, folks. And uh, if you are out there, and uh, if you if you ever need to find somebody that needs help. You know, you, you know, you always see these people out in the country that are parked off to the side of the road because they're having they're having issues with their truck or their truck got stuck. Well, this guy is one of those clubs. It's it's this guy. If you ever wanted to help a brother out in the outdoors, this would be one of the guys to do that. Right, Chris? You know, we always need we always have those certain guys that need help with their truckie. And uh, I can't think of a, the, the official truck of Cross Creek Archery to help get unstuck. Right, Chrissy? That's right. You you know it's not Cross Creek. <laughs> well, you, 
what's wrong with Cross Creek Archery? I like that. I mean, you guys are always shooting crossways anyway. No, not us, buddy. You know, we're straight. Everything we do is by the book. We do it the right way. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, I'm not saying it's you're doing anything illegal. No, no. I mean, we, we know how to shoot straight arrows. We uh, shoot around corners. No, nah, that's not what I was told. I was told by two certain individuals, I won't name Matt and Mountain Man, that, uh, <laughs> that uh, when you set up a bow... <laughs> That the people are always happy because they're shooting at a single spot to the right, but they're hitting X's. Well, if that's happening, it must be one of them two that's setting it up. It's not me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So, but I can't. I, those guys wouldn't do that. I think they're closer to me than they are to you. I'm. I'm not making that up. I'm just telling you right now. Those. That's verbatim what they told me. Mount man, wasn't that verbatim? You said Chris can't. If Chris sets up a bow, you're going to be hitting X's in the next lane over. Well, possibly, because they won't let me in the back room anymore to do any work. Uh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I can't, I can't believe you have the audacity to sit there and tell me that little truck of yours is going to pull my truck all over the place. That little truck. That little, that little Toyota, that little toy <laughs> toy truck you got is going to pull my big, old, my big old trail boss all over the place. I can't believe you have the audacity to say that. It's not a little truck. It's a Tundra. It's a V8. <laughs> it's a what? It's a, it's a full-size Tundra. No, what'd you say? What? V what? It's a, it's a V8. It's not a six-cylinder. Oh, I don't like V8s, man. I, I don't like that tomato taste. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see, I guess, whenever you... Uh... Hey, I, I'll, bring a tow chain. <laughs> I'll bring a tow strap out with me when we're at the uh, Chico Outdoor Show here in a couple weeks and... Yeah, I'll be more than happy to pull you out of the ditch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll do, see. We'll yeah. see who can. Uh, I think. I think where we're having that event at, they have a uh, mud pit there, so we can we can always try it out. Yeah, you've never got that truck muddy in your life. You're out there flossing. Yeah, right. You're out there flossing the windshield wipers. <laughs> I don't get it muddy. Uh huh. I know you. I I have never seen a picture of that truck dirty in my life. Well, Rob, Rob's on your Facebook Live here, just saying, laughing out loud. So I know I'm right. Well, you're right. I can't, I can't deny that it doesn't get dirty. Yeah. I yep. don't think I put anything in the bed of it besides blankets and bows. Yeah. So how's how's everything in Pennsylvania? The economy good? How much How much am I going to be paying for gas out there? I think average right now is like four nineteen. Four nineteen. Regular, yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's under five by the time we drive out there and back. It should be. I mean, I don't know. We hopefully it doesn't go up anymore. We don't need that. I, I I'm really I'm serious, man. I think we should all buy stills and start march start doing our own moonshine to run our trucks. When you come out, I'll show you two stills that I have at the shop. Well, hey, they're plenty big enough. <laughs> I, I I I think we might be able to talk. I'll I'll go down to Revelton and learn how to to still. I'll get Rob and Christy to help make teach me how to make moonshine and. I'll, I guarantee uh, you, Mountain Man knows how to do it. Oh yeah, we'll uh, we'll start we'll start our own gas company, man. We'll call it uh, we'll call it uh, well, let's see what uh, we'll call it uh, Shine Star. Well, we can do that. Yeah, there you go. Good morning, yeah. John. It was good seeing you guys at the Deer Classic. Will you tell your lovely wife I said hi to and thank you very much for stopping by, John. Appreciate that. So, what's going on at Chico Outdoors? I talked to Matt the other day. It sounds like he's going to have a really good lineup out there. I think he will. He does a nice job with that every year. Um, it's been growing since we got involved with him. Uh, he outgrew his first venue, went to a bigger venue now. And um, he's, he's got a lot going on. He brought a, uh, bought a nice like, professional trout pond for the kids to fish in and uh, Lots of vendors. He's got stuff for everybody. He even has a section just for, you know, the wives that might show up or girlfriends that don't hunt that want to look at crafts. I think he has one little section for that. But he's, he's, he's doing something for everybody, and it's it's been a, a nice growing event. And yep. I think he's probably yep. going to have the biggest outdoor event in the area eventually. Wow. If, if he's got a trout pond going on, I know where Larry's going to be. Larry's going to be over there fishing. Pushing all the little kids out of the way. Yeah. Larry Mack will be over there fishing. He'll be fishing in between seminars. I guarantee it. I guarantee he will because it's probably right by where he's doing the seminars. Well, I know. I'll know exactly where to find him then. So I'm excited about that. I heard they're going to have live music. They got a they got a good band, and the Mountain Manettes are going to be out there dancing. <laughs> yeah, Rob will probably be out there in a miniskirt. 
<laughs> the Mountain Man Etz. <laughs> That's a sight there, huh? Can you imagine that with the big wool hat, the big wool uh, skull caps, and uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's not going to be a pretty picture. Uh, no, it'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's that's going to be fun, and uh, Cross Creek Archery is going to be uh, have a booth out there. Um, I don't know if they will, but I know Creek Archery will have a booth there. I I, I, I like Cross Creek, man. I I think that's the new name we should call that place, Cross Creek. Okay, whatever you want to call it. Andrew, Andrew just left. I have no idea where he's going. Now he probably had enough of this. I don't know. He did. Well, he's back in the studio. I don't. Where'd you, you? You just taking off during the show now? You just what? What the heck? Yeah. yeah he just walked out the door. I, I tell you, these producers, man. You were rambling on. I knew that. I'm not rambling. I'm. I'm at ten minutes. I'm having a conversation. Yeah. Hard to find good help, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it is. It's really hard to find good help anymore. It really is. So, hey, uh, and he, he didn't even bring donuts in this morning. No? No. I wonder, I wonder if Mountain Man will bring me donuts today. We open at 1. If you're listening, Rob, which I know you are, I like donuts. Yeah, he's listening. He's over here laughing out loud. He's lol on me on Facebook Live. Yeah. So, hey, uh, real quickly, um, what was I going to ask you? I was going to ask you something. Now I forgot. It, I, it, 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 it was a fleeting thought. Ah. Yeah. So are you going to be out there all three days? Yeah, yeah, we'll have we'll be set up all three days the whole time. Um, it's it's definitely a good event. We enjoy it. We're, we we like being there. So Rob says he's not bringing you donuts. Oh, uh, Rob will bring donuts. He says nope. No, Rob, not, bring re, donuts. Rob said no. He said nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So is it snowing out there now? It is. Yes, I am looking outside right now. It's it's very light, but it's still snowing. It looks like we got about. Three, four inches today. Yeah, Rocco just said, "If I, are you going to come out here and uh, plow my driveway for me? You should. Yeah, yeah. I'm not driving 13 hours to go plow somebody's driveway for him. Ain't going to happen. Fly and out. and he says you're out. absolutely not getting donuts this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he, he, he knows I don't need donuts. Uh-huh. Any more donuts and i got to use another hole in my belt loop. Yeah, yeah. Well, join the club. Hey, that Baku bike, man! I I love that bike. I can't wait to chase what I I'm gonna smoke me one of the biggest whitetails in history this fall because I'm gonna be that thing is so quiet and easy to ride and I mean I've been taking that thing up and down hills and man I I love that thing I I rode I don't know I got uh, probably 20 25 miles on it and I still got 80 percent uh, my battery and I I haven't charged it in over a week. Yeah, they're nice. I, I, you know, I told you before, I sold a bunch, and um, the, the guys that, that are buying them, that are using them, you know, pretty much religiously for hunting, are realizing that it's a game changer. You're not sweating anymore. You can cover more ground a lot quickly. You know, you don't, there, there's just so many benefits to it. You don't have to, you know, if you've got the cart for the rear, you can put a 300-pound deer on that cart, pull it out, no problem. Yeah, I got, I got a cart, and, uh, I uh I can carry my uh my uh my my camera bags, my camera arms, I can carry um my stand if I want to hang another stand or a camera stand, I can throw that in there. I mean, that thing's awesome, man. Yeah. And are, it go it, it goes up to 35 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's plenty for what you you need and and that's that's what's so nice about them. Is there's so much you can do. I got guys at the bottom that not only for hunting, they take them to the beach with them when they go down south or they'll take them fishing and Coolers with them, everything. Hey, well, now, what do you, what do you, well, if you're out there and it gets muddy, what do you do? Just hose it off? I mean, or do you have to oil? I mean, I don't want to be putting a lot of oil on there because I don't want the scent. <laughs> right. No, you can, they're, they're designed to be hosed off. I mean, they can take the water and mud and all that. So just, um, just hose it off with water. And then I'm sure you could, one thing you could probably look into, I know, um, you know, there's a lot of odorless oils out there, but there should be some sort of like a, odorless chain lube i know uh lucas makes odorless oil so maybe look and see what they have that's that's what you'd want to put back on the chain yeah i i tell you what and if i get it when i get a chance to go elk hunting again i'm definitely taking that with me man that's oh. yeah. yeah you'd be crazy not to yeah we're i i actually uh the place out of donovan's that i went to Man, uh, it's called Three Rocks. It's about a mile, mile and a half from where we usually park the, the SUV. The nice thing about those things, Chris, the deer, the, the game do not hear you coming. I mean, they're super quiet. No, and even if they do, 
I mean, some of the guys that I've sold them to have said the deer could care less. They've actually taken them in and ridden right past deer, and they just stand there and stare at them. As long as they're moving my, on that bike, yeah, they, they, they don't even run. They could care less. My buddy Dave wears a, uh, uh, a hex suit, mm-hmm. and he, he said the same thing. He can drive through a bean field or cornfield, and the deer just sit there and li- they'll stick their head up for a second and look at him and then go right back to feeding where if you tried to walk in or drive a Polaris in there, you know, you're, you're going to blow the field. You're gonna bust, yep, you're busting them out. They're going to leave. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy how they don't pay attention to those bikes. Yeah. And you'll find out here for turkey season it's going to be nice. You know, I don't know what, you know, the game laws in that are, but you know, if you take that thing out and you got some birds gobbling way, way off on the other side of your lease, you can cover that ground pretty quick with one of them bikes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'll tell you what, man, that's... Even an old fat guy like me can get on there and crank them out. I like it. It's nice. Oh, absolutely. Most of the guys I sell them to, Dan, are you know guys that are physically fit like you and I. Well, there you go. We're studs. Stud muffins. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to go. I just thought I'd get you on here and, and pester you. Mountain Man says uh, you're out of luck on the donuts. He's absolutely not bringing them. Nah, uh, Rob, I'm upset, buddy. You're, you're disappointing me. Yeah. How about a, how about a hamburger or something instead? Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. I, I just can't wait to get out there and see the Mountain Nets. Oh yeah, they're that's gonna be awesome. Him and Matt. Yeah. You, they're gonna, they'll look good in their mini skirts. Yeah. All right, you be good, buddy. I'll talk to you later. All right, Dan. Good talking to you, buddy. There Chris he goes. Cr- there he goes, see my buddy you. Chris from Creek Archery in Pennsylvania. All right, 8.50 and some change. i got to hit a break. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Good morning, Parker. Uh, Jeff, I went, uh, there's a place down there by you called Forerunner Blinds. Uh, tell them outdoors Dan was talking about them. He'd probably give you a deal. outdoors needs a good partner. One partner that's very important is a good knife. Kershaw Knives has knives and tools for every outdoor situation. I bought mine off right off back from Baku themselves. They just shipped it to me, but it was easy to put together. Hi, Park. How you doing, bud? Man, two hours is gone already. Can you believe that? Show goes by so quick. Tran RBK skinning knife. This knife allows you to change out blades as they wear down, so you're always keeping the sharpest point on your game. There's even an extra handle, so your buddy can help you cape out your game, saving time on getting your valuable meat cooled down fast. I talked about Dr. Yagi so much, I don't know if I should, do I have to do his commercial? This new folding knife has great looks, a tool option, and opens beverages. Perfect for when you're on the go. We got three minutes when we come back. Check out at KershawKnives.com or at sporting goods stores near you. Kershaw Knives, an outdoor partner you can count on. Hi, this is Dr. Don Gilbert from New Life Counseling Services with offices in West Des Moines and Ankeny, Iowa. Dr. Don, we got to get him on. We haven't had him on in a while. People dealing with relationship issues, parenting struggles, anxiety, depression, or folks just looking for a new direction. I told you to do it. He's a good guy. Struggling and are looking for someone to help you find answers to a better relationship. What are you going to be talking about? We're just helping with everyday stress. Please consider calling me at New Life. We offer a family-friendly, straightforward approach to helping you to get through the layers of stress that can be harmful to your health, relationships, and your work. The staff at New Life offer one-on-one yeah. sessions that get right to the heart of the matter. We work with you so you can discover better choices on how to handle the issues you might be dealing with in your life. When you're looking for someone to listen to you, I'm with you, Parker. Crappy and turkey time buddy that's a shame no then we had that shooting at east uh, this week that was a mess huh? also find us 24 7 at new life council better get those those police officers back in them schools did you hear the news the olive tap has a brand new location in the district of prairie trail in ankeny and is now serving fresh salads and sandwiches every day the Olive Tap is your one destination for the finest cooking oil, spices, and vinegars, and now fresh salads and sandwiches. They now have even more of your favorite oh, olive oils from Italy, Greece, Spain, and other countries. It was cold when I got in here this morning. Like Tuscan herb, basil, it's heated up, eh? Somebody must have cranked bacon, the heat. And jalapeno, just to name a few. The Olive Tap also offers special oils like avocado and walnut oil. Either that or it's just 20 different varieties of oil or vinegars, including raspberry, strawberry, Hickory barbecue, Ooh. sour apple, dark nap. chocolate, and many more. The olive tap carries sauces, spices, seasonings, jellies, and when's other. The, when's the NCAA start? 
They even offer cooking classes and tasting parties. Stop by the Olive Tap at the District of Prairie Trail, 1610 Southwest Main Street, Suite 105 in Ankeny, 515 Sunday next week. Or at theolivetap.com. Heading to your favorite outdoor spot. Is your hunting, fishing, or utility knife ready for any task? Well, if you use the original WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener before you left, you bet they are. The WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener is designed to sharpen every knife you own. By using changeable, flexible, abrasive belts, the sharpening system is able Everybody to looks like they're having so much fun today. Curved and serrated knives, tonto blades, fillet knives, gut hooks, axes, and even kitchen I can't knives. wait to hear those first little tree calls. Precision angle sharpening guides. Can't wait them birds waking up, man. To ensure the that first gobble. Angle every time. Each work sharp knife and tool sharpener is assembled in the USA by a family owned and operated company. I'm hoping that brush piles are thick of crappie right now. I bet you that's what Larry's doing today. I bet he's fishing. I'd be fishing. Consider checking out one of the work sharp knife and tool sharpeners or the work sharp guided field sharpener at a store near you or anytime at worksharptools.com. Mm. That's WorkSharpTools.com. But does brother Tactic talk? Tacticam has launched the best-in-class cellular trail camera, the number one selling action camera in the industry. The new reveal by Tacticam will change the I'm way ready to, you, Rob. Not only is it one of the easiest to set gobble, up, gobble. but the most affordable cellular camera on the market. As you know, you educate your game and leave your scent when checking cameras in the field. With Reveal, those issues are gone. You can receive pictures in almost real time right to your app without going into the field. The Reveal offers half-second trigger speeds. It detects game from up to 96 feet away in 4G and LTE wireless modules. Well, good morning, Hall of Famer. Boy, Paul, I can't wait, bud. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but turkey season, man, it's just that first. That's just something special, isn't it, Paul? Again. Plan starting as low as five dollars a month. The new reveal by Tacticam saves time, gas, and most importantly, helps you stop educating your game. Revealcellcam.com for more info. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1450 ESPN. There you go, Ron. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio here on 1350 SPN. Hey, real quickly, don't forget, we, uh, Andrew and I will be live on the radio uh, Wednesdays at 5 o'clock Central Standard Time on the Outdoor Call Radio app. Make sure you download the app and listen to us live. You can call in, you can message us, and uh, all that other fun stuff. So we'll look, hope, we'll look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Hey, real quick, Dr. Obi-Wan Kenobi Yegi at Advanced Family Dentistry. If you need a new dentist, give them a holler, 964-1490, 964-1490. Go check them out at AnkeniSmiles.com. We've been talking about Dr. Yegi almost the whole show. Good, good people over there, Dr. Stewart, Dr. Brandt, Dr. Williams, all good guys and gals. Uh, everybody there is so friendly. If you need a new dentist, that's where I go, and it'll, you'll understand why. And when you leave, they'll say, may the floss be with you. And in Herman's Fine Jewelers, 2900 University Avenue, West Des Moines, 222-2600. Don and Frank, they do a great job. If you got a special event coming up, you're getting engaged this year. They've got over 10,000 diamonds and mountings in stock. If you need a new turkey blind, need new decoys, some arrows, or, uh, hey, you know, you, you need just uh, some fishing gear, and you got jewelry laying around that you just don't wear anymore, take it over to Herman's, and chances are you're going to get a lot of money for your treasure and you go buy some outdoor gear to, that you'll use. So go check them out. Herman's Fine Jewelers. They got some of the best prices in town. Good folks over there. Man, uh, the show went quick today. I appreciate it. And we absolutely did. Got really nothing done. We gave away a really nice Spurs Up turkey call. And we talked with Joe. That's about the only... Joe at uh, Fourth Arrow and Winston. That's about the only thing we accomplished this morning. But other than that, we always have fun spending Saturday mornings with you. And uh, we'll do it again next week. Don't forget, we'll see you Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central on the Wednesday Drive on the Outdoor Call Radio app. Until then, be good to one another. We're all in it together. Bye! All right, gang. Get out there and be safe. Go catch some crappie. Go get some turkeys lined up. We're, it'll be happening soon. Uh, we got a little bit of time in Iowa. We got until the 14th or 15th of April, but kids' season will be before then. And uh, like I said, a lot of folks are be going to Nebraska, and we'll be going to Kansas on. Uh, we'll be out there on April 2nd uh, chasing birds then. So it's happening. And with this 50 degree, I to by Tony, with this 50 degree weather we got coming up, 
uh, the crappies and uh, the bass and stuff are going to be biting. They're going to be hungry. So get out there and wet a line here in the next couple of days. Till then, I'll see you. And uh, we'll see you Wednesday for sure here on Facebook Live. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day.